In this video, we're going to look at how to find the length of the diagonal of a box, so of a right rectangular prism here. So I've got a 3D drawing of a right rectangular prism. The lengths are 5, 3, and 4. So 5 is the width, 4 is the length, and 3 is the height. And we're trying to find from one corner to the opposite corner, the diagonal of that box. And I have it drawn in here on, on this 3D drawing. There's an extra line in here, but we're really just finding this from corner to corner. Okay, so uh, the formula is a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared. So it's just like the Pythagorean theorem, but instead of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we have that third dimension, and we, we call it now a, plus a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared. So a, b, and c in this case are 3, 4, and 5. Those are the length, width, and height of the box. So oftentimes you'll see teachers write this as length squared plus width squared plus height squared equals the diagonal squared. Okay, so let's figure it out for this one and then on the next part of the video we're going to figure out why is this the formula. And, and it there's it makes pretty much if it makes sense why this would be the formula when we look at it on the next part. So uh, we just do 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared equals d squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. We add these up, we get 50. And then we square root both sides. And so we can get an approximate answer. Um, we probably should practice the exact answer. So it's the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. So the diagonal is 5 root, oops, root 2. And if we want an approximate answer, we can pull up our calculator. And we can just go uh, square root of 2. So 2 square root times 5 we get 7.07. .07. So the diagonal is approximately 7.07. .07. Chances are your teacher will want to see it like this. And our units are inches. It's just a length. Okay, so if you just want to know how to do it, this is the how. Now on to the why. And so why a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared? Well, let's go back and look at that 3D drawing. And if you notice here, we really have a right triangle embedded inside this box. And we know, let's take a look at it this way. We know the height of this triangle. That's 3. That's the height of the box. And then this length of the triangle, that cuts diagonally across the rectangle that's 5 by 4. And to find the diagonal of that rectangle, we would go 5 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. So, in our notes here, this length, let me do this in red, this length right here is the bottom of the box, and that length is 5 squared plus 4 squared. equals, and we'll call this one, I don't know, x squared. We're just doing a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that gives us this. And then the height of it is 3. So we have a right triangle here. And we'll highlight the hypotenuse in, let's do, purple. So the hypotenuse is in purple. So I ran out of room. There we go. And so we have a triangle where this side is 5 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. So x would end up being the square root of 5 squared plus 4 squared. That's the bottom side. The height is 3. And then to figure out the hypotenuse here, we'll call this d because it's the diagonal, we would go this squared plus this squared equals d squared. So we go the square root of 5 squared plus 4 squared plus, oh sorry, squared plus 3 squared equals 
d squared. This is really a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm sorry. A, yeah, yeah. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where we have this right triangle. And so when we square this, we the squaring cancels out the square root. We get 5 squared. It's not 52. It's 5 squared. So 5 squared plus 4 squared plus 3 squared equals d squared. And we ended up with exactly what we said, a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared. All right, so that is how to find the diagonal of a right rectangular prism or, right, or just a box.